Hey there, Jason Gay with Kappa at the historic Palace Theater. In this video, we're gonna explore some theater superstitions. Theater people are notoriously superstitious, have a flair for the dramatic. Many of these superstitions that have been passed down through generations are really based in very practical reasons on getting a smoothly running theater, a smoothly running backstage area and getting you through your work day. So let's take a few minutes to uh, explore some of the most famous theater superstitions. The ghost light is based in the tradition that you never have a dark theater. A dark theater is a closed theater. So leaving one light bulb on, on a stage in a theater, uh, make sure that the theater doesn't close. So if we were to turn the lights completely off, the superstition is that your theater would be closing soon. The practical reason for using a ghost light is for safety. We want to make sure that anyone that stumbles onto a dark stage can see any hazard, any trap door that might be open, any riser that might be set up on stage without, you know, causing an accident. And of course, I like to say that the ghosts in the theater need to be able to see where they're going. So the light bulb helps them find their way. We've all heard it's bad luck to say to a performer, good luck with the show or have a good show. Instead, we say break a leg. That tradition goes back to the ancient Greek times where instead of applauding, the Greeks would st stomp their feet. Or it could also be as simple as using the term leg, which is a masking drape used in theater. And the idea that the actor who's getting paid is actually breaking the leg. So walking in front of the masking, essentially, to uh, start their performance. So they're essentially breaking the leg. One of Shakespeare's classic works cannot be mentioned by title in the theater. It is bad luck. We simply refer to it as the Scottish play. Macbeth, and you know it. It's the one with the witches and lots of bad stuff happens. The name of the play is Macbeth. You can't say it inside, but you're allowed to say it outside. The idea behind the theater being cursed when that play is mentioned is because theater managers knew it was a very popular play. And so if they suddenly decided they wanted to close the theater, they would put the Scottish play on the bill to make as much money as possible. They were worried that if people started talking about the Scottish play, it meant that the theater was soon gonna close. There's nothing that drives me more nuts than someone whistling in the theater. It doesn't have the same safety issue that it had back in the 17 and 1800s. It's really that it's just annoying. You can probably tell I'm very passionate about this. Theater people have a flair for the dramatic. During a load-in, when it's already hard enough to communicate among the crew, because there could be dozens of people walking around the stage working, to have someone whistling just adds to the, adds to the noise, adds to the clutter acoustically. Reality of the do not whistle in the theater tradition comes from the fact that all the rigging in theaters used to be performed by sailors. Sailors knew how to work with ropes, tie knots, deal with large canvases very efficiently. So they were hired by the theaters when they were not on the ships. The way sailors would communicate with each other to bring rigging up and down is to whistle. They would whistle commands across the stage. So that's why the tradition that it's bad luck to whistle in a theater came about because it was considered a safety issue. You didn't want to inadvertently signal that a drop should come in from the fly rail or from the fly loft, or that a piece of scenery should be brought on stage. So there you have four theater superstitions that are really based in the practical and safe operation of a theater and backstage area. If you have some of your favorites and you wanna post them below, I would love to see them. In the meantime, stay safe, and I will see you in another video. Bye. Oh my God. I really can whistle, trust me. <laughs>